Uh, hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This is going to be for um, no, issue number three of New Suicide Squad. So yeah, um, yeah, New, Su New Suicide Squad issue three, um, Pure Insanity, part three, I guess. Um, so yeah, basically, this is a pretty good issue. Uh, most most notably, it's Joker starter versus. Harley Quinn and it's just fucking hilarious. Um, so yeah, before I begin, though, 10 second spoiler warning. Um, for those that have yet to actually read this issue and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and then come back here, watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning, as usual, starting starting now. Okay, so 10. Seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually read this issue and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me. That I never gave you fair warning because, as usual, I did. So, as I said before, it's Harley Quinn versus Joker's daughter. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, the heck half half of the issue is with Joker's daughter versus Harley Quinn, and then Black Manta is there trying to break up the fight before one of them gets killed, um, or he or before he gets killed, or before one of one or all of their brains get blown the fuck up because the since they are suicide squad amanda waller has a chip in them that is a bomb basically and if she wants she could kill any of them so yeah i mean it seems that amanda waller seems to have a bit of competition in this issue as well that's pretty cool um i actually didn't notice this at first there's this advertisement there's this um advertisement here for americans ad i guess there's a new season on october yeah, October 20th, it says here. That was actually a pretty cool ad, I have to admit. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the alien, I forget his name, is right there in the suit. So that's pretty cool. But no, back on topic. Amanda Waller seems to have this boss who says, um, th yeah, he, um, he's kind of a douche, in my opinion. He, he kind of wants to blow up all, um, the Suicide Squad. And I, I, it's understandable, you do have to kill some of them. But, um, he just wants to kill, like, all of them outright, and that's, I don't, I, he's annoying. I don't really like him. So, yeah, I, I guess, I, I guess that's the point, we're not supposed to like him, so yeah. So, we have Harley Quinn versus, versus Joker Sauter. We have Amanda Waller be, um, against, um, this guy, um, I don't, th I don't think they give him a name, um, versus some, this sort other of guy, and then Deadshot, um, from the after the events of the previous issue, he is captured, or he's actually captured in the beginning of this issue, and then taken um, for an, for to inter for interrogation. Um, they have death stroke with them, and at the end of the issue, it, it, it seems like it's going to be one of those situations like death stroke versus dead shot. So you have dead shot versus yeah, dead shot versus death stroke, Harley Quinn versus Joker Sauter, and Amanda Waller uh, against this other guy, and Black Man is just trying really to live. So yeah, be best synopsis ever. There. Um, yeah, but it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's like the ending. So yeah, it's technically not really Deadshot and Deathstroke duking it out, but it's close enough. So actually, this is a pretty good issue, I have to, I have to admit. Um, Joker's daughter, um, it seems like Harley Quinn beat her really good because ha um, at the end of their fight, she was um, Joker's daughter really wasn't moving that much. I mean, then again, Joker's daughter did fall out fall off a building so and then got ran over by a car so yeah she got yeah joker's daughter and this this is just funny as hell so joker's daughter and harley quinn jump out a window uh land on a car right there they land on a car and they're fighting in the streets and you could see that right there She's kind of about to get ran the fuck over by a car. Um, yeah, she cr she smashes into the car, and then you have Harley Quinn basically beating her right here to a pulp, right there. So yeah, I mean, I hope Joker's daughter dies. Oh, and here's and here's her not moving. I kind of actually want Joker's daughter to die, and by the way, she's not really Joker's daughter, she's just, she, she's just psychotic, she thinks she really is Joker's daughter, um, so I really want her to die, mostly because her character is really polarizing, 
Um, some people love her, and then other people hate her. And I'm on the side that I just hate Joker's daughter. I think she's annoying, um, useless, a Harley Quinn wannabe. Um, because Harley Quinn's the original, and she's trying to be a wannabe. Um, there's no real real space for wannabes here. So if you know Harley Quinn could kill Joker's daughter, that'd be the best thing ever. I'd be laughing my ass off. Um, but that that's pretty funny. I mean, I, I mean. Why I mean, why Amanda Waller hasn't blown up her brains yet, I do not know. Ask the writers or whoever's working at DC. <sighs> yeah, Joker's daughter's just annoying as hell. Uh, and here's, uh, here, even on the cover it says Joker's daughter and the wrath of Harley Quinn. So that that's pretty funny. So uh, I really do like this issue. The writing's pretty good. The, the art is pretty good. And the fact that you have Joker's daughter basically beat, beat into a pulp is just fantastic. Um... Yeah, the one thing I don't like though is that, I mean, here it's, it kind of seems like they changed the art, the artist, because at the beginning you have uh, um, some things with Deadshot, and it seems like they kind of changed it, um, uh, like from one page to another. And I have, and I think the art in that, in those shots, are pretty good, but I, my, it just seems kind of weird. And also the transition from dead, from the stuff that are, that are going on with Deadshot to the stuff that are going on with Harley Quinn, Mance, and, and Daughter. I mean, it's not really transitioned very well. Um, and then they really don't properly introduce this uh, this new character that's with Amanda Waller. So it does have its own problems. But overall, it's a pretty good issue. And yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I give this issue an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good issue. Definitely do check it out. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for all that. You know, um, I do review Suicide Squad, um, the, the the series, comic book series. I am, I am. It is on my pull list, so I am gonna be re reviewing that. So yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, comment down below your thoughts on the video. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, or MySpace, whatever you guys prefer. Um, comment down below your thoughts, thoughts on the issue, not the video, the issue, and that's basically it for now. And what are your thoughts on Joker's daughter? Do you like her or do you hate her? I personally don't like her. I hate her. She's annoying as hell. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, subscribe, comment, like, share, and that's basically basically it for now. This is Daniel Marks signing off.